Hello everyone, this is Darwin Welch. I am here to show you how to set up your metadata for your images. Um, I call it the hidden copyright for your images. Um, basically where you want to start, you have to be in your library section. So you can choose either just one image or if you have a list of images that you would like to add your metadata to. Well, you should add your metadata to every image that you you have to protect your images. So your first step here is you're in library mode or your library section. You go to metadata. Okay? You go down to where it says edit metadata presets. You click there. Now the information that you want to add in is your IPTC copyright and also your creator information. You can fill everything in if you'd like. That's up to you, really. Or you can just add what is necessary. Now, basically, as you can see here, you can add the year, your copyright symbol. To get the copyright symbol, you on the PC, I know it's um, alternate control C. On the Mac, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, so basically you, you put your name in the first section, copyright, whatever, or copyright your business name. Um, here it gives you options, unknown, or you can just click copyrighted, which would be best. Um, rights to usage is very important. Um, due to copyrights and also watermarking, this protects your image from being printed by a lot of, I've had uh, clients call me, this was when I began, they called me and um, said they could not pick up their images because of the watermark and probably because of the metadata as well. Um, so here you would want to add all rights reserved, no usage without permission. Okay, then you have your URL, your website if you have one. Your IPTC creator you want to have your name, you can do your address if you'd like. If you're running your business, it will be really important for you to add this in there. So all this information is optional. All this information is optional. These are the two only two sections that, that I fill in that I know about, really. The others, it's, it's not really important to me right now. So after you do all that, You will click done. Well, I'll have to cancel this. Okay. Then what you can do is this. You will, let's say I wanted to add my metadata to all these images. So control A, which highlights all your images. And you go to where it says preset on your right side of the screen here. And you'll click on that preset and it gives you, you know, what you've already had set up. Since it was 2013, which is recent, this is my setup now. So I click that. And now to sync the entire page of images, you go to Sync Metadata. And then your information will appear here. Okay, then all you have to do is synchronize and you're done. And as you can see, it's synchronizing all the images that is listed here in the library. So the metadata is being added. And it's all done. Now, if you also would like to know how to do the watermarking, okay, this is what I suggest. Let me do a clean image here. I'll go to a raw file. Mm, choose a nice image here. Okay. Okay, I want to add my watermark to this image. Oh, this is already there. Okay. Your watermarks, you really want them to be not as noticeable. Um, in other words, you don't want it in the center of the picture. 
or or anything like that. Basically, I choose the right bottom corner. So in order to do that, you'll go to File. You'll go all the way down to Export. This is after you do all your editing of the image. You go to Export, and you'll scroll down. Number one, you want to name your images as you export. You want to scroll down to your watermark. Make sure that's checked. Click here and go all the way to the bottom, or it will show up immediately on your page since you have nothing really saved, if you haven't. Edit watermarks. Now I have mine set as a graphic. I um, created one with uh, GIMP. So for text watermarks, you click on text. You type in the information. You also can change your fonts, your styles, your alignment, which I have it on the right here, the color of your text. So for each image that might have um, a black background to where you're going to add your watermark, you want to change the color so that it will be seen. Okay, the shadow of the, the text, the offset, the radius and all the other good stuff. Your opacity, you know, how large you'd like it, like it to be. So since we're in text, let's see here, let's go with that one. It's really small. So you can either make it clear or you can dim it down. I keep it at 100 because it's not my my um watermarks aren't that huge anyway. Uh, the proportion depends on the size as you want it, which I say I keep mine in the bottom right corner. Now you can either do it to fit or to fill. Your choice. Your inset. A lot of times when you save these images or if you're printing them, at times printing them does not add the entire watermark because of there are certain dimensions depending on your, your, your crop or the size of your image. So the inset, I mean the inset, yes. Horizontally, you could drag it back a little bit or vertically, you know, up or down just to prevent it from being cut off at the bottom when you, when you do print. You can anchor your image to different sections, like in the center here, wherever you want to on, on the page. Or you can rotate the text itself. And that's about it for that section. And what you'll do, you'll save it, you'll name it, and then when you're ready to, whenever you're ready to export an image, you'll go in, like I said, Remember, number one, remember to always know where you're sending your images. Find one file or create one folder where you want to send your images. This, okay. I lower the quality whenever I want to email my images. So you go down and you will choose your logo. And then you just click export. And once you export that, it'll show up on your image. And that's it for your metadata and your watermark. Thank you again for watching. This is Darwin Welch. See ya.